Print on demand. You may have heard of this amazing business model and the passive income it can bring. Maybe you like the idea of becoming a print on demand product seller, but need a step-by-step -step walkthrough to get your shop set up. Or maybe you just want to know more about the whole print on demand process to decide if it's the next right step for you. Well, either way, this video is for you because I'm breaking down how it all works in five easy to follow steps. We're talking how to create your designs, how to put them on products, which print on demand provider to use, what platform to sell on, all the things. So let's go. Before we dive into the five steps, I want to give you a quick overview of how the print on demand process works. The basic process is this. First, you'll create your design that you want to put on your print on demand products. Then you'll choose the actual products that you want to layer it on top of, like shirts, mugs, tote bags, and wall art, for example. Once you've created your design, put them on your products that you've chosen, then it's time to get them selling in your e-commerce shop. This could be on a place like Etsy or a website through Shopify. There are a lot of different places online you can sell your print on demand products. Products. You've already gone through the process to sync your online shop with your print on demand provider, which we'll talk more about in just a little bit. But because they're already integrated and synced together, whenever you get an order through your e-commerce website, it automatically goes over to your print on demand provider and they automatically fill package and ship that order out for you so that you don't ever have to even lay a finger on the actual product. You can basically think of yourself as the creative designer and your print on demand provider as the one that actually does the fulfillment and shipping on your behalf. There are are so many different benefits and a lot of reasons why people love selling print on demand. Number one is that you can start with zero dollars. You're only going to be paying for the products that you actually sell. So you don't have to have a lot of upfront capital to get started and buy a bunch of inventory. And speaking of inventory, that's another benefit is that you don't have to hold any inventory yourself. You don't have to have space at your house or in your garage and feel like you have to buy a bulk amount of shirts or bags or whatever it is that you're selling because you don't have to hold the inventory that is already stored at your POD provider's warehouse. You don't have to have the headache of worrying about shipping because that's another thing that your POD provider takes care of for you. And you can get started quick. You can even get started today if you want. All it takes is getting a few things set up and then it's an automated system. So the only responsibilities that fall on you in this process are actually creating your digital designs that are going to go on your products, setting up your account with your print on demand providers website, getting your online shop and listings set up, and then marketing and driving traffic to make sales. What's not on you is actually actually creating the physical product, packaging, and shipping the order. That is on your print on demand provider. And we're about to talk more about how all of that works. All right, let's dive into step number one. If you want to go ahead and get this process going, and that is to decide on your sales platform and start your account. Now, when I say sales platform here, I'm not talking about your print on demand provider. That's going to be in the next step. But first we have to decide what platform we want to use to actually put our listings up and make sales. There are a lot of different e-commerce websites and platforms that you can use, but my my recommendation, especially if you're first starting out from the very beginning, is to set up a shop on Etsy and then eventually grow into owning your own e-commerce website through something like Shopify. Starting on Etsy is a great idea for complete beginners because Etsy has a huge organic audience of millions and millions of shoppers already on the platform and right there at your fingertips. This makes it a little bit easier to get discovered quicker. Then once you get some consistency with your sales coming in, you can eventually have a long-term plan of branching out, increasing your brand awareness, and owning your own website, which gives you a little bit more control in the end. If you're interested in learning how to start the right way on Etsy and set up your shop optimized to make sales from the very beginning, I have a free Etsy quick start guide that's linked in the description box below. You can grab that for free after watching this video, and that'll give you a list of the different steps you need to take to implement smart strategy from the very beginning to get discovered and get those sales rolling in quickly. All right, once you've decided on your sales platform, you've gotten your account set up there, then you're gonna move on to step number two, which is to decide on your print on demand provider and integrate your shop. All right, so remember this is different from our sales platform. The sales platform in step number one was where you're setting up your product listings where your customers are actually going to purchase from you. Your print on demand provider is the one that's actually creating and filling those orders and shipping them out on your behalf. There are a lot of great print on demand providers out there to choose from, but one that's at the top of my list and that I absolutely love is Gelato. There are a lot of reasons why I love Gelato as a print on demand provider. One is that they have the world's largest network of local print providers. At the time of this filming, they have over 130 different print facilities in 32 countries. Over 87% of orders that come in are actually printed in the country that they're being shipped to, which means lower shipping costs and a faster turnaround time, which then means happier customers for you. It's also super quick and easy to set up your account on Gelato, and they integrate with a lot of different sales platforms, including Etsy, WooCommerce, and Shopify. It's absolutely free to use. You only pay for the items that you sell, so you don't 
don't even have to pay anything until you have sales coming in. And at that point, all you're paying is the base cost for the items that you're selling. Now, speaking of those base costs for products, they have some really competitive price points when you compare their prices to other leading POD providers. They have 24 seven customer support, which means that if you have any questions at any time, they're super helpful and you can always reach out to them for anything that you need. And with all of these new different POD companies coming up everywhere, I love the fact that Gelato is established. It's a trusted name in the industry. And at the current time, it has a 4.7 out of five rating on Trustpilot, which speaks volumes to me. So let's say that you've chosen to sell on Etsy. You've chosen Gelato as your print on demand provider. You can quickly and easily sync your Etsy shop with your Gelato account by going through the few steps. And once you've done that, you can take a look at their product catalog. Gelato has so many different types of products that you can choose from to sell, including a lot of top brand names, color options, and more. So then once you've chosen your specific products, you'll want to add your designs. And Gelato has a lot of different tools for editing, changing around your designs, and being able to get them to look just right on your product the way you've been envisioning. They even have some really cool features that other POD providers don't offer, like being able to put a design on the sleeves of your t-shirt or even putting your logo on the internet to make it more branded. And I also love that they have an amazing mock-up studio. So once you've got your design on your products, they make it super easy with their mock-up studio to go in and see how these might look and envision them on real products on your listing. I personally think it is so fun to go in there, play around with putting your designs together, choosing your products. And I totally recommend that you try out Gelato. You can try out Gelato for free and get 50% off your first purchase if it's made within three days of creating your account. Just go to gelato.com slash Kate or click the link in the description box below to get started. And I want to thank Gelato for sponsoring this portion of today's video. All right, once you've chosen your online sales platform and your print on demand provider and gotten your accounts set up with both, then it's time to move on to step number three, which is to create your designs. So before you ever even start creating any designs, you need to do some market research to validate that your product ideas are indeed in demand and will sell well once you get them listed. The last thing you want is to come up with all of these different products that you love, but nobody else is really searching for and then hear crickets in your shop. So a few places I love to do this type of product market research is on Etsy itself and by finding out what's trending on websites like Pinterest predicts and Pinterest trends. In general, you're just doing some research to figure out if what you're thinking of actually is out there on the market. Is it being sold consistently? And you're trying to identify what's currently in demand, what's currently selling really well in terms of trends, specifically things like color schemes, font styles, graphic types, to validate the fact that they are selling well and it would indeed be worth your time to pursue this type of product in this type of style. Then once you've validated your ideas, you're gonna decide on your design tool or platform. This is the platform or the software that you're going to use to actually create your digital designs. Again, there are several different options here, but one that I love and think is super beginner friendly is Canva. If you've never used it before, Canva is a design tool that you can go on, create your designs and download them in many different file types and sizes. You can pretty much create whatever you need with this tool. And like I said, it's super beginner friendly. It's easy to get used to quickly. And there's a whole built-in content library there at your fingertips. Now we know there are a few different elements that go into creating digital designs. Not only do you need access to different fonts, but you also need access to different graphics and photos. So like I mentioned, Canva has a lot of this built-in that you can use depending on if it's their free or pro content, but you can also source these types of graphics from third-party websites. So a few of my favorite websites to purchase graphic assets on are Creative Fabrica, Creative Market, and Etsy itself. The key here is to look for a commercial license to make sure that whatever you're purchasing and planning on using commercially, which just means you're planning on using on products to sell, you need to have the legal rights to use it in that way. So instead of purchasing, let's say, a bundle of graphic elements with a personal license, you would need to make sure you're purchasing it with a commercial or extended commercial license. You'll need to read the terms of the license license it comes with to make sure that whatever you're thinking of using it for, specifically print on demand, is allowed by that seller. If it is, then you can purchase that bundle with that commercial license included and feel free to use those in the way that the license outlines by creating your designs on your design platform. So for instance, let's say you bought a bundle of holiday images or graphics on Creative Market, you would download them from Creative Market. And then if you're using Canva to create your digital designs, you would then upload them into Canva and use Canva's project editor 
to put your design together, eventually downloading it once it's ready from Canva and uploading it to your product on your print on demand provider's website, which would be like going on to Gelato if that's who you're using and putting it on your product. I know it sounds like a lot of steps, but trust me, once you get the process down, it works like clockwork and it's actually really fun. Now, one note here about designing your products in your design tool, let's say Canva, is that you wanna first know what product you're designing that for. So let's say I've chosen to create a t-shirt design. I'm gonna choose my product on Gelato ahead of time, the specific t-shirt that I want. So let's say it's a Bella canvas. I'm gonna choose that specific shirt. I'm gonna go onto Gelato, onto the product catalog and choose that shirt. And I'm gonna find the file guidelines or specifications from that print on demand provider for that specific product. So I know what size to create my design in. The design that I'm gonna create for a t-shirt is going to be created in a different size than let's say a design for a mug. So I need to know before I even start creating my designs, what product I'm creating them for and have those specific dimensions for creating my project on Canva. Then once I'm done creating my designs on my design platform, like I mentioned before, I'll upload it to my products on my print on demand providers website, which is then automatically synced to my Etsy shop. Okay, so once I've got my designs created, then it's time to move on to step number four, which is to create my listings. So here I'm talking about creating my actual listings that are going to go into my e-commerce shop, whether it's on Etsy or through Shopify or another platform. But these are the actual listings where my customer will come, they'll read all about my product, they'll see the pictures of my product, and they'll purchase through my shop. So depending on the print-on-demand provider I'm using, I can usually either create my listings right there through the POD provider's website, or I can create them on my actual e-commerce website. So in this case, if I was using a combination of an Etsy shop with Gelato as my POD provider, I could create my listings starting on Gelato's website or on Etsy's website. Either way, they're synced together so I can see them on both, and I could always create them through Gelato and then later go back and edit them on Etsy, let's say, if I needed to make changes. But the point here is to get all my products listings created and published so that the public can see them and they can be purchased. The listing usually includes things like photos, a description, specifications of the product itself, estimated production and delivery time, and anything else your customer would need to know. And once I've got my listings created, I've got my shop ready to publish, ready to announce to the public, then I move on to step number five, which is to market and drive traffic. A lot of people actually skip this step and just expect that when they put their shop up online that tons of people will flood to it and the sales will just start rolling in, which is possible but not likely for most of us when we're just starting out. It's gonna take a bit of intentional effort to get the word out about your shop for people to become aware that you actually have an online shop and that your products are up for sale. So there are a lot of different forms of digital marketing, but my top three favorite ways to do this are through email marketing, social media marketing, and collaborations. If you're interested in a step-by-step Step walkthrough of how to get your email list started and how to actually use email marketing in your business. I do have a whole video on that that I'll link in the description box below because there is a whole other process for creating a freebie and a landing page to get people to sign up for your email list. So that's a whole process in and of itself, but one that is really effective for driving sales once you get a bit of an audience going. Of course, social media is amazing for reaching people who would have never otherwise known about you. Don't feel like you have to be on every social media platform. My recommendation is just to pick one that you're already comfortable with and that you feel like your target customer would already be hanging out on to serve your audience well and to put your products in front of people that might be interested in them. And then my third favorite way is through collaborations. This could be collaborating with other sellers or online influencers, but either way, you're pitching yourself to partner with someone else who has a bit of an already established audience to get your products and your brand name in front of them as opposed to starting from square one and from scratch. This way you're able to tap into someone else's audience ideally an audience that's similar to your target audience so that you know that they're gonna be interested in what you have to offer. This could look like reaching out to some online influencers, providing free product for them, or even paying them if your budget allows for it in return for them featuring you on their social media channels or through an email feature, or even doing something fun with another seller like a joint giveaway. You can be really creative and have a lot of fun with this, but collaborating with others is a great way to get your shop name out there. So those are the five main steps to get getting your print on demand business going. And once you do, you can make passive income and make sales in your sleep because the whole process is automated and can happen on repeat. So have fun getting everything set up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'd love to come alongside you and help you on your journey. And don't forget to click the links in the description box below to try out Gelato and to download your free Etsy quick start guide. Happy selling friends. Okay.